In today's video, we're gonna go over some new Blender add-ons that can help you improve your animation projects, choose better colors, vegetation, create damage, and more. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's start with an add-on called Alt-Tab Colorful. As we all know, colors are one of the most fundamental parts of any art form, and 3D is not an exception. They can set the mood, tell a story, and add life to any scene. Now. The idea behind this add-on is to simplify the process from A to Z, but how? Well, basically, instead of the laborious process of manually selecting colors and applying them one by one with this add-on, all you need to do is select the object you want to color and just like magic, it automatically applies the chosen color palette with a single click, which is interesting. And speaking of colors, I'll tap the developers of this add-on has got you covered too. So, instead of going through the trouble of constantly switching between your browser and Blender to select colors, which can be very annoying if you ask me, especially if you have only one monitor. For this reason, this add-on comes with a colors.cl integration as a solution to effortlessly choose from an infinite number of color palettes, which has got to be helpful. So, you can easily customize, organize, and apply these palettes. For example, you can select the color you want and generate complementary, monochromatic, or analogous color schemes, amongst many more. Long story short, it's true that this add-on doesn't reinvent the wheel in terms of what it offers, but it can make our workflow much more convenient and faster. Next in line, we have GeoFX, the latest addition to the Light Architect's outstanding lineup of add-ons, and just as you might expect, their track record of producing excellent add-ons continue with GeoFX. It regroups a collection of VFX-based geometry node systems that you can click and drop at any Blender scene of your choice. I'm a big fan of geometry nodes, but let's be honest, they can be often associated with complexity, which means complex, time-consuming, and confusing mathematics. So, as an alternative to having to do it manually, with this add-on, you can effortlessly add some of the most commonly used effects in your scene. And they are a firework system, ropes, chains, vine and ivy system, in addition to lighting and cobwebs. Since it is based on geometry nodes, these effects are also entirely customizable. And while it is possible to manually edit them with nodes if you wish to do so, which is pretty cool and fun if you ask me, however, the good news is that you don't have to do so, because the add-on comes with a simple and easy to understand side panel to do this task. For instance, you can use the draw tool of the add-on to draw IVs, then you can use various sliders to customize it to your liking, such as the branches length and density, spread length, leaf scale, in addition to many other stuff. Also recently, the developer of Baga add-ons released an all-in-one bundle of add-ons for Blender with presets for scattering, architecture, hard surface modeling, arrays, and loads of other stuff. So this is a bundle of three popular Baga add-ons. It is divided into many sections. First is the Baga Pi modifiers and asset add-on, which is a collection of more than 600 assets. I know, this is already impressive on its own, but it doesn't stop there. It also includes parametric modeling capabilities to design 3D models procedurally instead of having to manually model everything. With also more than 100 model presets around these features, which you can adjust to your liking. For example, editing the radius, height, and width. It also has a scattering feature to spread objects on any surface, in addition to many other tools. Then there is the second add-on of this pack, which is Baga IV Generator which you can use to draw IVs on top of any surface using a pen tool and adjust it to your liking with three options to choose from. The precision mode, the design IV branch by branch, or accurate to generate IV with complex and realistic results. And fast, which is all about making high quality IVs that can render efficiently. The third add-on in this collection is the Baga Rain Generator which is a quick rain generator that you can also use to edit and adjust rain in your projects, such as changing and controlling the density, rainfall, height, splashes, and speed, in addition to a rain shader, among many other stuff. Moving on with more new add-ons, we have Shape It, from the creators of Grab It. So, the idea behind this new add-on is really simple. 
and it is a little fun add-on that tries to make motion graphics simpler in Blender, and I believe it contributes to that nicely. But how, you might ask? First, it comes with a collection of more than a hundred ready-to-use motion elements, which means a collection of 3D models of some of the most used shapes in motion graphics, such as stars, circles, in addition to more than 35 animation presets that you can right away combine with them. These are included in a colorful little menu, with some of the most used animation types in motion graphics to save you the time and effort required to do the same animations manually every time, such as the drop and bounce, spin and loop. But my favorite part about this add-on is the shape to balloon feature to quickly add balloon-like simulations to your projects, and the Dyna String feature to draw and simulate cables for your projects. And if you want something cool in animation, we have the Auto Smear add-on. And it is, well, an add-on to automatically add smears to your animations, which is a technique used in animation to exaggerate or create exaggerated motions for characters and objects, which often involves sketching or distorting the character or object in the direction of movement to give it the impression of speed and energy. So with this add-on, we can automatically generate these exaggerated smear effects without doing anything, pretty much. Other than adjusting the settings, such as probably to decide how many smears you want, the resolution, lifetime, and many other settings, which can make it a really handy add-on if you want to enhance your 3D animations even further. And if you want to damage some stuff, we have the real damage add-on. Creating damage in 3D can be really frustrating. The two most common solutions I could think of right now are having to sculpt on a high-density mesh and then doing the retopology, or having to go through complex and long simulations. If we think about it, it's doing so much for so little effect. And to be frank, why would we do that if we have an add-on like this? And I mean it, because with a real damage add-on, we can bypass all those struggles and adding damage to 3D models within a short period of time. It is also an add-on that can do it all. It can easily create damage on any geometry, also add steel reinforcement grids to it, and even create procedural concrete and steel materials. It has a side panel to adjust the different aspects of the destruction effect, such as the level of detail, mesh density, internal damage, and depth, as well as various seas to experiment with, among many other stuff. The next add-on is called Knitting Generator, and there is no mystery about it. Just as the name suggests, it is a geometry node-based add-on for generated knittings. The concept behind it is simple. You can select any 3D model you want, and with just a few clicks, you can add the effect to it. This one also has a side panel that you can use to adjust the different aspects of knitting. First, a subdivision level that you can edit with the knitting automatically adjusting itself. You can also change the fiber resolution, knit radius, fiber count, secondary fiber, and many more. Basically, this add-on addresses only one problem. But for those that need it, for example, let's just say they can create an amazing teddy bear movie. So I think it is worth checking out. Now, as we know, Blender is a great general 3D package that covers all the various aspects of 3D production. And I would like to think that it does that really well. However, an area where Blender struggles is color grading, but not anymore thanks to some add-ons like this one called Colorist Pro, which can be a great color grading suite that you can use to color grade directly within Blender's viewport. If you are familiar with color grading, this add-on comes with all the expected features, which are delivered in the shape of a simple side menu, just like the other Blender add-ons, but yeah. It has sliders to edit, for example, the overall highlights and shadows, in addition to tint, temperature, or the hue and saturation of each color alone. And if this is not enough, it also comes with preset packs in addition to lens flares and dirt, also aspect ratio and resolution, glare, and many other stuff, to ensure that you can use Blender cinematic capabilities. It also simplifies the transition of Blender's default color space to ACES which is the most used color space in the industry, meaning it is industry standard, and it can help Blender to be more compatible with other software from that aspect, so that you can add it to your pipeline more efficiently. So guys, 
If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.